Cassandra Bankson is a YouTube star who turned her experience of bad skin to her advantage and now helps millions of people with her quirky makeup videos. But she recently shocked her fans by revealing that she suffers from an incredibly rare medical condition. She has two vaginas. As far as sex life goes, for some people I'm sure it could be very painful. For other people, I would assume there may be more nerve endings, so it could be more pleasurable. Now she wants to find out more about her condition and whether having two vaginas could be linked to her acne. The 22-year-old, who lives in San Francisco but travels the world as a model, discovered she had two vaginas when she started having pain in her kidneys and visited her doctor for tests. When we got the papers back, she looked at me and she said, aha, and I was like, what, do I have one kidney? Do I have two? She's like, yes, and do you have two vaginas, as I suspected. It's probably like a nose, if you could imagine it upside down. For instance, here's the opening and everything looks the same, so I've never really noticed a difference. But on the inside, most vaginas have this opening here, and then everything is just one large cavity, and then you have like the fallopian tubes and things like that but for me there's almost this split right down the middle just like a, a septum and a nose and it's a complete separation so they're actually two different cavities the condition has brought her some discomfort ever since I was younger um, you know even without knowing about this condition I you know have gone to the doctor because I was bleeding for 23 to 28 days um, you know and I would have two periods a month or I would have a crippling cramps I couldn't move or even um, my bowels would just not want to behave because the cramps were so bad and mood swings. It is extremely difficult to deal with especially because you don't know if your period is going to last a week or three. Almost one million people subscribe to Cassandra's popular channel, watching her give advice on everything from makeup to how to overcome bullying. I got my first pimple when I was either seven, eight, or nine years old, um, and kids would make comments about it. I realized I was different, and other people didn't have this on their face. I ended up seeing doctors and dermatologists. Um, the bullying did get really bad. The acne ended up covering 70 to 80 percent, um, up to 90 percent of my face, chest, and back um, by the time I had to switch schools because of the bullying. Now Cassandra wants to get her many questions about having two vaginas answered, including whether it could be linked to her chronic acne. Today she's visiting Dr. Dina Harris at her surgery in New York. How's it going? Pleasure to meet you as well. What happens to cause this is when the embryo is developing, the mullerian and urogenital sinuses start at separate parts and come together and fuse. And if they don't fuse all the way, then you can get two uteruses, two cervices, two vaginas. A lot of women don't even know they have this condition and find out when they're pregnant, so it's possible it won't even bother her uh, in a sexual way either. There's a possibility there'll be some issues with getting pregnant. If there's a problem, it will be dealt with. I don't think that she'll be more susceptible to any type of um, feminine cancer based on the uterine and vaginal anomalies. I don't think that there's any correlation between Cassandra's acne and the vaginal anomaly. Bye. Bye, bye. Thanks. Although it doesn't explain her skin condition, it seems the consultation has answered many of Cassandra's questions. I've actually learned a lot. It was really informative because I got a lot of questions cleared up that I really needed answered. Everything from how it started to am I supposed to be a twin um, to is it directly related to acne and I can be treated if I need to and so far it's not causing problems. I'm not trying to have kids right now and if I ever do want to have kids hopefully I'll be able to have them naturally as opposed to having in vitro or anything like that. So much, much more calm. Now Cassandra is resolved to focus on her YouTube channel and help those who may have faced similar obstacles. I would love to continue educating people. I am also extremely passionate about helping others and I want to continue showing people how to find their own self-confidence and success.